in the 66 kilo featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner and representing the UAE, Ahmed Al-Darbaki. comes local fighter Ahmed Aldermaki. Of course, there's a rematch from Abu Dhabi Warriors 3 where Ahmed was winning the fight convincingly and, and had a little bit of a cardio his issue opponent, ended up being submitted. the red corner, making his way to the ring and fighting for Ukraine, Artyom Kourantanen. with the heart of a lion from Abu Dhabi Warriors 3 was in all kinds of trouble. Took a beating for about a round and a half, showed a lot of heart, persevered, and as, as Ahmed's gas tank emptied, he was there for and the submission. And now, three five-minute rounds, a rematch in the featherweight division. Introducing first, the fighter on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 171 centimeters tall, weighing in at 66.5 kilos. His record, zero wins, three defeats, representing the UAE, Ahmad Al-Darmaki! And now, his opponent, he stands across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He stands 175 centimeters tall, weighing in at 65.6 kilos. His record, two wins, three defeats, fighting out of the Ukraine, Artyom Gorontinez! Your referee when the action begins, Grant Waterman. Gentlemen, any questions for me? 
No. Protect yourselves at all times. Okay. Listen to my words of command at all times. Keep the fight away from the ropes. If I say stop, you stop. Touch gloves. Let's get ready for war. Right back. Well, I think this one's going to get the most attention by the crowd here at Abu Dhabi Warriors. Here we go. This is a You're rematch. Ready? You're ready. Let's fight. It was Garajanets with the first win at Abu Dhabi Warriors 3. Aldarmaki in the white. Garajanets in the black. And here comes Ahmad. Big takedown by Garajanets. And we're picking up just where we left off from Abu Dhabi Warriors 3 with Ahmed in the, with the early aggression. Looks like he's got a deep, deep guillotine in here. Not quite underneath that chin. And quickly, Garajanets gets out. Goes for a big hammer fist. Stacking him up. Now, later, it's a big shot. Is Garajanets. You know, it looks like these guys didn't learn from the first fight. They're leaving it all the ring in the first round. Two young, hungry featherweights. You're absolutely right. Leaving it all inside of this ring. Chomping at the mid to get at each other once again. Aldarmaki, a lot of fans here in the iPick Arena looking to represent the UAE and pick up a victory for his country. You know, in the pre-fight discussions, Ahmed said that he spent a considerable amount of time working his cardio, said he was in tip-top condition, prepared to go three rounds. But man, at That's this fine. pace, I find that hard. That'd be very impressive. He's already starting yeah. to, we're seeing a little bit of labor in his breathing already. Now he's already receiving a nice left hand, and he slams Garage net to the ground. Make it things interesting, go. Ken, right out of the gate. A minute and a half in, and they're both having their hands and their hips during the breaks. Left hand connects. Is that it for Aldermaki? Grant Waterman watching very closely as it seemed that Aldermaki was stunned, but not quite out. Rajanets now raining down ground and pound. You can't even blink in this fight. These two are really going at it here. Just in round one, only two minutes in. Aldar Maki, he's being connected on. Brent Waterman may have to stop this one. He's not moving. He's trying to defend himself, but he's not putting himself in a better position. Waterman's giving him a chance. You know, a lot of those punches are finding finding the glove, and if he does survive this, that's a lot of energy. Stop, stop, stop. That and that's going to be it. Grant Waterman stops it. Garajanic wins the rematch. He's now 2-0 and over Aldarmaki. Of course, the air out of the IPIC arena. A valiant effort. He gave a lot of effort right out of the get-go, tried to finish that fight. But Garajanic waited it out. And he had everything. He had the answer for Aldermaki pretty much from the beginning. Yeah, you know, a lot of being an effective fighter is managing your, your energy, as we saw in the Conor McGregor and Ideas fight. You know, Absolutely. It's very important to manage your energy so that you can you maintain a pace throughout the fight. It just seems like Ahmed, being a very young, aggressive fighter, let his emotions get to him. And of course, shot his water early. Yep, you're absolutely right. There it is. One after another, it was just ground and pound city, Garajanets doing everything he had to do. He gets the stoppage, and he's once again victorious here at Abu Dhabi Warriors. Gotta wonder what's next for the young Ukraine fighter. You know, that was a lot of action for a minute and a half fight, two minute fight. Both fighters are still trying to catch their breath. Now to Cyrus Fees for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, Grant Waterman stops this fight of 220, round number one. Your winner by TKO to the strikes, Artyom Garajanet! <laughs> Presenting the award to Artyom Garajanet is Lupamir Kajian, managing director of Abu Dhabi Warriors.